Florida is remembering a pillar of the law enforcement community. Tonight, the medical examiner's office confirms the death of former police director Robert Parker was a suicide. CBS 4's Natalia Zia is live at Miami-Dade Police Headquarters with more. Natalia? Bobby Parker worked for this department for more than three decades and spent several years as the top boss here before he retired in 2009. His death is sending shockwaves through our community. The pictures on the Facebook page belonging to retired Miami-Dade Police Director Robert Parker show a smiling man with his vibrant wife, Veronica. He had just celebrated his 62nd birthday Tuesday. No clues here as to why police believe Parker shot himself Wednesday night on the bank of a canal across the street from his home. His own sons and a neighbor found him. They knocked on a door. They said they want to look in the back. So they did. That's where they found him. He was just lying there. We don't know what happened how this happened, so it's hard for us to even process it. Cecil Lamb, Parker's longtime friend and pastor, is reeling from the news and came to Parker's home to comfort his wife and three adult children. It was kind of rough last night because, you know, the shock of everything. So uh, his wife was trying to hold out as best as she could, but his boys are taking it pretty hard. Parker also leaves behind grandchildren. All right. You want to get on the swing? Lamb says Parker had complained Wednesday of feeling tired while driving home from a family trip to Georgia. And he says Parker had high blood pressure recently and had an appointment for blood work slated for today, but nothing that could give an answer for the violent decision. Not Bob. No. You know, like, you know, it's like we love this guy. It's like, I mean, we have friends that are calling from all over. How? It's like we don't believe it. It's just. It's like a, a nightmare. Police and politicians have been sending out their condolences. I ask everybody, the whole community, to, to pray for him and also his family. Uh, something completely unexpected. Late this afternoon, Parker's family released a statement reading in part, words cannot express the sadness my family feels from losing such a strong, compassionate, and God-fearing man. What little relief we feel comes from remembering that he spent his life in service to his community and from realizing that we are not alone, that we are surrounded and supported by the people he loved and cherished the most. Not only has Parker spent his life serving this department and this community, his family members have as well. His wife is a retired Miami-Dade police officer and his daughter currently works on the force. Natalia Gazea, CBS 4 News. So sad, Natalia, thank you. We are also hearing today from the Miami-Dade Police Union about the loss of Bobby Parker. I got the call last night at about 11.30, and to be honest, it was devastating. It, it, I couldn't go back to sleep the whole night. I was up the whole night. It's devastating for the department. It's devastating for the community. 33 years of service, the director from 2004 to 2009. I personally worked for him at two different occasions, and I found, you know, we called him Bobby Parker, I found him to be an excellent director, an excellent police officer. It's, it's, it's a tragedy, it really is. The feelings right now of a lot of people at the Miami-Dade Police Force and Miami-Dade County. Bobby Parker is survived by his wife, who also served as a Miami-Dade police officer, a daughter, and two sons.